We are about to dive deep into what exactly makes a cactus a cactus. This simple guide to San Pedro cactus anatomy is intended to equip you with basic understanding of these essential components so that you can better recognize and appreciate cacti. Let's get started. By recognizing the major anatomical features of San Pedro cacti, you can better establish ideal growing conditions and ensure the health of your plant. Additionally, it establishes a shared language that fosters seamless communication. This knowledge will also enable you to differentiate between various species within the Trichoceres cactus genus. Now let's get into the forms and functions of the major parts of the San Pedro cactus. Resembling a vertical pillar, the columnar stem serves as the cactus's foundation, giving it both height and stability. This stem may also act as a reservoir storing precious water to sustain the cactus during parched periods. Other growth forms of cacti stems besides columnar can be crested and monstrous and add unique characteristics to cactus variations. The ribs are vertical lines along the stem, helping in the cactus's growth and adding a unique visual pattern. Some varieties of San Pedro cacti may have more or less ribs than each other. The epidermis is the protective outer skin, coated with a waxy shield to guard against harsh sunlight and prevent water loss. Predominant San Pedros have a bright green epidermis, but other varieties like the Peruvian torch have a paler blue color to them. The areoles are circular patches that are the origin of spines, flowers, and new growth. Nestled along the ribs of the stem, they're the fingerprint of the cactus's identity. Spines are the needle-like structures protruding from the areoles in various sizes and colors, providing protection and contributing to temperature regulation. Some San Pedro have shorter spines and areoles, and other have longer spines with larger areoles, but they all serve the same purpose. The night-blooming flowers usually emerge from the top portion of the stem and are important for pollination and crossbreeding. The San Pedro's flowers are fuzzy, giving it the nickname Harry Sirius. Roots are an intricate web of fibers beneath the surface of the cactus, absorbing essential water and nutrients from the soil and fortifying the cactus against the harsh environment. The vascular bundle can be seen in the center of a columnar stem. These intricate pathways facilitate the transport of essential fluids and nutrients, ensuring the cactus's survival. The cortex lies in the heart of the stem between the vascular bundle and the dermis. It is a storage hub for water and nutrients and sustains the cactus. Offsets, also known as pups, emerge at the base of mature cacti. Offsets can be separated, propagated, and nurtured into their own independent plants. We hope this guide helps you understand the complex system existing in these cacti. Stay tuned for more exciting content by subscribing, liking, and commenting on this video, and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks!